Many people are not aware of the extent of the burden of mental illness in South Africa and indeed globally. And there's emerging evidence that uh, mental illness is contributing more and more to the proportion of the global burden of disease. So then when it comes to South Africa specifically, we now have our first nationally representative data. And we know that around 16.5% of South Africans will have a common mental disorder during any given year. That's the current estimates. So that includes uh, depression, anxiety disorders and substance use disorders. So we know around 75% of those people don't receive any form of evidence-based care or treatment. So that's a large burden of disease. It's huge wasted human potential. And the tragedy of it all is that we actually know what to do. We know that there are cost-effective antidepressant medications. There are cost-effective psychological interventions. Uh, we know that if we intervene with some of the social determinants of mental health, uh, that we can reduce the population level burden of, of these problems. Our research shows that about 45% of, of women have a mental health disorder during pregnancy. So our vision as the Perinatal Mental Health Project is that every single woman in this country should have the opportunity to access mental health care as part of routine maternity care. Our project operates services at four midwife obstetric units, which are the primary level obstetric units um, in the Cape Town area, and we have a counsellor in each of our sites. So our counsellors are really the instruments. They're our, our health tools. They're our instruments for for, for interfacing with very, very vulnerable, very, very needy mothers. So all the women who come book at the MOU, they are screened and all of them are offered counselling whether or not they meet the criteria for counselling. Um, an appointment would be made with them normally with the next checkup at the clinic. Also, if women are from the area, they do not have to wait until they come back. They could come back the next day or the following week, even if the next appointment is only in, uh, let's say, three or four weeks' time. There is no charge. The service is free of charge. They can come for as many sessions, you know, for as long as they feel that they need to make use of the service. It is available to them postnatally as well. They can come back for counselling for up to a year after baby has been born. So it is free of charge.